It's like the media table. Yeah. I feel safe leaving leaving some of my gear over here. <laughs> no one's gonna hassle you. <laughs> Let's go black!
That one? Yeah. That's fine. I've never tried to be great for you. Cheers. Clean up! Cheers. Clean up! Cheers. Up! Up! Push them! <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,
Put it in, Ed. Put it in, Ed. Put it in. Put it in. Come on, 
You're standing, Spartans. Let's go. I hope that's on the film. Go, go. 
What is the actual situation? Like, so, I, saw, I saw one at the airport, so I know there's still a unit there. Yeah. Um, are, they, are they new units? Are they in on it? Or is it like some combination of your stuff plus their stuff? Called it out. Yeah. 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 Over the last two years, we've been able to get a combination of the bullet. Um, they cut down the stop from 55 to 17. Right. And they've gone into their called the fourth generation version, where they took a bunch of uh, ideas the last 10 years, I mean, they integrated some of the same mechanics uh, that person yeah. uses in their other machines. Uh, so it, it's kind of like a weird Frankenstein monster mm -hmm. of uh, uh, machines. Does it work? Yeah, so yeah. previously, you know, it was one for a frame, you know, it was one, one machine for a frame. Now it's two, where it's separated, and it's basically identical on either side. So they 
like the degeneration I still have to learn everything about it. But, you know, it's pretty much the same I yeah, it's not like Brandon Bike said. Um so anyway, it's, they're pretty confident about it. Well, I, I was I was hoping that uh, he made a good uh, keyboard in that day, but he's going to be off it. He just said something that would go. That would be great, man. No, I don't. You know what? Yeah, you know what? They're, they're the tanks and they don't. That's right. Yeah, I know. It'd be fantastic. I'm looking forward to it.
Fourteen, right? Oh, yeah. 
Yes. Uh, oh my God. They love you doing fans. Oh,
First off, thank you all for coming out this evening uh, to pay tribute to our senior class and to the rest of our soccer academy. <laughs> Special thanks to the dining hall for putting on the food tonight. Uh, thank you to Drumline, our Thunder, for coming down, providing the entertainment. Uh, absolutely amazing, first class. Um, Thank you for, uh, for Christy and Samantha for putting, and all of the parents for putting this stuff together. You can tell that this, my hands have not been on any part of this. It certainly doesn't have my touch to it. So thank you so much for all the parents. Thank you for your, your support. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, special thanks to my coaching staff. Coaching staff have been absolutely fantastic. Uh, where's Louie? Coach Louie. Yeah. We know we're not young, we know we're not cool, we know we're not connected. Cool is all those things. <laughs> He's done a great job of kind of like making the old guys feel a whole lot younger and making the connection we need uh, to these kids as he serves uh, the soccer academy. Having been a former player, now give him back. Thank you so much, Rui. Not here tonight, uh, Coach Nico. Uh, had been volunteering with us uh, from Chile. He is back in his homeland. Hopefully we'll see him again in the not too distant future. Coach Daniel is taking care of his kids, not these kids, uh, but he's been helping out with our goalkeepers uh, and helping out with the team. Both of those. A special thank you to Paul. our head coach and technical director and basically everything you see that happens on the field is because of Paul. It comes from his brain, comes from his lessons, comes from his instruction, wonderfully uh, put, on to, uh, put into practice by the boys that we see in front. So without further ado, we're going to go on to recognizing our senior class. And I will go through these in alphabetical order just to make things fairly easier. So first up, We've got Matthew Atchison. Yeah. When we were recruiting Matthew uh, to come to St. Stephen's, he had offers from just about every other soccer boarding school in the country, promising him first team soccer. That wasn't offered here. What he was offered here was an opportunity to compete, commit to a process, and improve himself to see what could happen next. And that's what he did. Whenever Arch wants to achieve something, he will do whatever he has to to make that happen. He is the guy that you'll always take to you whenever you're going through a battle. Newcomers to the academy this year were unsure what to make of Arch. He would turn up somewhat placid, basically sleepwalking his way down to training, and then wreck them in the first challenge in the warm-up. That's Arch. 
One of the many things Axe has learned at St. Stephen's is how to become an effective and respected leader. Initially, he thought that leadership was screaming at everyone on the field. <laughs> and I mean everyone on the field. Coaches, referees, <laughs> spectators, everyone. He now recognizes how powerful his influence is with his teammates. When I had to go back to Ireland this year, I'd stepped up into the space that I left, and he ensured that the team did not miss a step the whole way through. That's special. That's special. He has taken time with our younger players to help them work on the facets of their game that they need to develop. He has a training shuttle. He's the campus chauffeur. He's the dorm dad, organizing food for all the boarders after every game. Your contribution does not go unnoticed or unappreciated. We all know that this hasn't been an easy process for Ag or for the family, but we know that he is, he is not one to choose the easy path. Ag, keep your head up, keep your eye on the ball at the high. We are so proud of you. Tori and Kent, thank you for giving us your son. Ag, thank you for all that you have given our school and our soccer family. Okay, next up, Mike Chang. Seeing Mike on campus always makes me smile. He is undoubtedly one of the most popular students around. His affable manner and pleasant demeanor infect all who come into contact with him on a daily basis. We often hear cat noises during warm-ups. <laughs> Still not sure what that's about. But we have learned some Korean, even if it's just one word. No, don't say it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Mike always brings a sense of fun, but knows where the lines are drawn when work needs to be done. In the three years Mike has played with us, he has illustrated every positive trait you would hope to see in a young man. The humility he showed when entering our program has persisted even as a senior player. He is courageous and selfless. Last year, some of you may remember, uh, when we played in Governor's Cup, it was basically bodies strewn left, right, and center. They were going round, just going down. Mike uh, had separated his shoulder, uh, but insisted on playing, putting the needs of the team uh, before his own personal well-being to later require surgery and what, an eight-month recovery? Okay. Always putting the team before himself. Whatever Mike puts his mind to, whether that's on the soccer field or larger life goals, like gaining his pilot's license at the age of 18, the young man will achieve. Yeah. This young man is deliberate. Yep. Yep. He's deliberate and determined and is steadily improving in all areas every day. His mindset and meticulous preparation and all he does gives him a huge advantage over all of his peers, yet he remains humble throughout. We're delighted you're going to be close to us next year, Sherry and Aerospace Engineering at UT. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Chang, thank you so much for giving us your son. Mike, thank you for all you've given to the school and our soccer family.
go, Mike. Happy birthday, Issa. So, Martin Foster, Zach's dad, talked to me a couple of years ago at Coffee Under the Trees on a Friday morning. And he said to me that his son, Zach, was very interested in joining the soccer academy. And I said, that, that's great, that's great. I didn't know he played soccer. And Martin responded, he doesn't, he's a baseball player. So we found that out immediately when Zach came out to his first training sessions. He tripped over the ball many times when he tried to dribble. He couldn't trap a bag of sand and he couldn't pass water. In the two short years since then, Zach's improvement has been immeasurable. He is a dedicated and determined athlete. Few young men have the character and humility to take on the high level project that you did at the age you did. You deserve huge credit for that and you will always have my respect. We could not have been more impressed with Zach's energy and his positive attitude on a daily basis. We hope that the passion that you have developed for this beautiful game will continue through your time at Penn State and you'll come back and see us again. Martin and Issa, thank you so much for giving us your son. Zach, thank you for what you have given to the school and to our soccer family. afterwards so uh, feel free to take whatever you want but we will also get them to you. Felix Halloran. Yeah. He scored his first goal of the season tonight. Yeah. This young man is amazing. The first time I met Felix was at our summer camp when he was probably eight or nine. Um, those who know him won't be shocked at all to hear that he won Camper of the Week that week and I think for the next two or three years that he came along. Impressing the coaches not only with his soccer skill but also his impeccable manners and appreciation for everyone around him at camp. Felix set a very high bar at a very young age and continues to push that bar higher on a daily basis. When we ask questions in team talks, the first thing we start with is, Felix, don't answer this. <laughs> His soccer IQ is off the charts. It's like having an experienced coach on the field, both for training and for games. Felix can play in almost every position to the point where some of his coaches don't know which position he should play or what foot he should use. Hamilton have got a gem joining them this, this fall. I hope that they appreciate you as much as we do. Samantha and Justin, Thank you for giving us your song. Felix, thank you for all that you have given to the school and to our soccer family. delighted and everyone else you see here is absolutely delighted that you have stayed playing with us the whole way through. Now if you're familiar with the game and familiar with goalkeepers, in goalkeeping folklore 
pundits and fans alike will wax lyrically about the Minister of Defence. That was Tim Howard playing for the US against Belgium in the 2014 World Cup. He made like 16 saves, he did this, he did that. Everyone thought this was the most amazing thing ever. I watched Ben play in middle school. It was Ben and a lot of our seventh grade girls playing against St. Andrew's eighth grade boys. <laughs> Honestly, if Howard made 15 saves, I guarantee you Ben made 30. <laughs> and he didn't concede any goals. Tim Howard conceded too. So for me, it wasn't even close. The Minister of Defense. <laughs> it has been to all of our benefits that you stayed with us. I'm not sure if Ben has improved so dramatically over the past two years in spite of or because of playing for General. <laughs> We're going to leave that one to opinion. His play has been stellar and the improvement so dramatic over the last two years. I'm delighted. I'm delighted that in so many ways, Ben hasn't matured at all. <laughs> Everything he said and did that made me laugh in middle school, he still says the same things and cracks me up. Keep loving the game, Ben. It'll be great for you to stay involved whenever you go to George Washington. Um, Steve and Sally, thank you so much for giving us your son. Ben, thank you for all you've given to the school and your son's family. on the field, we're never quite sure what is coming next. He can look rather unorthodox. It could be a moment of magic, a flick, a trick, and a turn, or it could be the ball falling under his feet uh, to the opposition for a counter-attack. Put Eli on the futsal court, however, and he is poetry in motion. The ball is attached to the end of his foot as he slaloms, pirouettes, and glides past opponents. He is unstoppable, an absolute joy to behold. Brilliant minds can work in different ways. And that's Eli in a nutshell. He may turn up to training wearing jeans and a pair of shoes. <laughs> or with two left shoes. <laughs> I'm not kidding. But that's because in his head, he's working on solving one or more of the seven millennial prize math problems. <laughs> and we love him for that. We're so proud of your development and growth. I wish you the very best at Stanford next year. Steve and Lauren, thank you for giving us your son. Eli, thank you for all you have given the school and our soccer family. teaching here, working here more than 20 years. In my 20 plus years at St. Stephen's, we don't take 12th graders. We don't take new 12th graders. That's an exception, and this is an exceptional young man. As a new international student, you might have expected Jay uh, to be somewhat reserved and timid. That has not been the case. 
Jay immediately and smoothly integrated into the greater school, boarding and soccer community. You would swear that he's been here for years. His calm and confident demeanour impacts all around him in such a wonderful and meaningful way. Jay is a smart, technical player who strikes the ball better than anyone I've seen in years. He is deceptively strong and very pacey, an absolute nightmare for opponents. Jay displays a positive attitude and mindset in all that he does. He's an old head on young shoulders. He has an acute awareness of his surroundings, knowing when to energize or when to deflate situations. He is not the only person on the team to tell Atch to shut up, <laughs> but he's the only person that Atch listens to. <laughs> Although we've had Jay for only a year, we're incredibly proud uh, to have worked with you and excited for your future. We look forward to following you and your progress uh, at Swarthmore next year. Sujatha, so Shakir, thank you so much for giving us your son. Jay, thank you for all you've given to the school and our soccer family. <laughs> Soccer Academy student athlete. He's disciplined, organized, industrious, and articulate. You never need to ask Johnny twice. Often, you don't have to ask him at all, as he is both perceptive and proactive. It's almost sickening, actually, because he's really good at just about everything that he does. But he does it with honor and integrity, and is only to be admired. We're grateful for the leadership role that Johnny has assumed this year. As the group has progressed, Johnny has established himself as one of the most respected voices in the group. He leads by example and holds the younger players accountable. On the field, Johnny is a general. Directing and ordering the players around him, he's smart and technical. As a centre midfielder, he's, a, he's comfortable, as comfortable tackling and helping out his defence as he is popping up in and around the opposition box to score goals or assist. We all know that all Johnny needs is an opportunity to demonstrate what he's worth at any program and he'll do so. His future teammates and coaches at Hamilton are in for a treat. John and Christy, thank you so much for giving us your son. John, thank you so much for everything you've given to the school and to our soccer family. Students, family, everyone. Uh, you know, this doesn't happen without all of you. All of you. Um, supporting these kids, our kids, your kids, is like so important for their development, for all of it, right? Um, but I also want to give a special thanks to Shane because he doesn't want the center of attention. He will push it aside. The academy doesn't run without everything that he does. And he lives it and he breathes it every day. Um, and I told, as I told the boys, 
There's a lot that they don't see that you don't see that goes into making all this happen. And he's the reason why it all happens, right? So I just wanted a special shout out to Shane and thank you for just being you and creating, having this thing that you've created over 20 years. All right.